Okay, I know that videos like this are really boring, so I want to do this super quickly, okay? I'll just explain as fast as I can. And also, this is scripted, so I'm, I might actually stumble over my words because I realized I said the wrong thing, but I'll try to... I'll try, I'm just going to shut up now and just start. Okay, okay, okay. I realized several problems all at once that will be conflicting with each other in the future, and I want to be completely honest and fix them before anything worse happens that might take even more effort to explain. It, it's just going to, like, avoid a bunch of crazy nonsense it's co it's concerning the head cannons that I've made for the saga, specifically the one with the whole matrix size thing for Saber. At least that, that's what Elon called it, the thing with the... You know what I'm talking about. I made that head cannon and started creating content with it way before the cannon explanation was given for the whole inside a different world and Minecraft and stuff thing. The head cannon explanation was that Saber is trapped inside a world by an unknown entity, also known as Elon, and the only way for him to escape was to save the Steves. The reason that his eyes are gl all glitchy is because of the unnaturalness to that world. The canon explanation, though, is that Saber is a player and is completely and totally aware that the saga is a game. Saber chooses to stay inside the game with the characters that live there, but can leave at any time. His blindfold is just an accessory and has nothing to do with the story at all. <laughs> As you can see, my headcanon explanation no longer fits because the whole Reality Steve arc would not be able to happen if Saber didn't know that he was in a game. There was no way for Reality to figure out that he was in a game if Saber didn't even have that secret to begin with. So, I want to get rid of that headcanon because it is now impossible. Of course, that's not the only reason. That's just the first one that I want to get out of the way. The second one is far more important and the whole reason that I decided to make this video in the first place. I recently started to write my second book, titled Save Them. It was originally a fan fiction for the saga, but it got so far away from canon that I decided to recycle it into my own idea, since it no longer resembled the saga's canon. In fact, if you blotted out the names, you wouldn't even recognize it to be the same universe. <laughs> The idea of a character being stuck inside a world with glitchy eyes and only being able to escape through saving the world is inside that book. So, to clear up confusion, I want to get rid of that same headcanon inside the saga. And before you guys get upset, I think that I have the full right to do that. I don't want to sound like rude or anything, but I'm not copying him because this is my idea? <laughs> the Matrix Eyes idea and the whole saving the world in exchange for freedom thing is mine all the way through. Elon didn't even think about the blindfold on his character until then, so I believe that I should reserve that story idea for my own and leave the saga alone, since it clashes with Saber's story about being inside a game. I'm really sorry, I know it's kind of too late to go back on that idea since I've created several animations that feature the Matrix eyes in them, and, like, I'm not gonna delete them, don't worry, it's just those aren't really canon to my head canon, if that makes any sense? It would just be best for me to do this earlier rather than later whenever the book gets released and causing a bunch of confusion about, hey, isn't this, like, something you already did? Are you copying him? You know, I, I don't want any of that. I can't have the Matrix Eyes idea anymore because it no longer fits <laughs> Sorry, because it no longer fits in the canon world and is part of something completely original that I've been working on for over a year. And I'm not ready to let it go just because of some c c confusion. This is the same for several other headcanons that I've just, that I've created for the saga, but luckily none of them were as publicly announced as the Matrix Eyes, so I don't have to mention them. So please understand why I have to make this video and explain all this to you guys. The Matrix Eyes idea with the save them thing is mine, and it'll become its own published story in time. I don't want it to be trapped with the saga anymore. That is my idea, and I want to take it back for my own use. I just want to be able to make something that is completely my own, instead of just making mountains of head cannons for someone who probably doesn't even watch my videos, even though I work really hard on them. I'm really sorry that I didn't think about the, the sorry sorry I keep on stuttering. I'm really sorry that I didn't think about this ahead of time. Thank you for listening. Sorry about stuttering so much. I'm not very good at talking. This is this is like nerve-wracking. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry for all this inconvenience that's probably going to happen because of this, but I don't really I just I should stop now. Okay. Bye. Thank you for listening. I hope that everyone understands. Sorry.